we start with the Fox News alert. Hi, everyone. I am Gretchen Carlson. Stunning new numbers on Target's whopping data security breach. So now we're learning the whole thing is much bigger than originally thought. Target now saying that about 70 million shoppers, almost a quarter of all Americans, may be affected. 30 million more than they said just a few weeks ago. Company also saying hackers didn't just get your credit and debit card information. Now we're hearing phone numbers. Email addresses, home addresses, all potentially compromised. And now it's offering one year of free credit monitoring and identity theft protection to any customer who signs up within the next three months. The breach affected even me. This past Friday, somebody used my card at a bunch of Walmarts in the Boston area. So here's a selfie. This is how it all started. With the microwave, I had to buy at a local Target at a local Thanksgiving. Well, not local Thanksgiving, but the day after Thanksgiving, I had to go there and buy it because mine blew up. Well. I actually don't always wear red and I don't work at Target. But I'm here today and I'm with Charles Payne, who's from Fox Business Network, and he's here to talk about the whole Target situation and the jobs numbers. So Charles, what are we to make of this situation? Almost one out of four now had their personal information compromised. It's an unmitigated disaster and the, the sad thing is it's probably gonna get worse. To your point, I have a lot of problems with it. First of all, I think U.S. corporations need to start investing money. There are great pro services out there. There are great products out there. Spend the money to protect our information. And then when there is a breach, don't give me the rosy scenario. You know, to your point, 30 million more. Well, guess what? Today, they said the timeline might be different. Not that window that they initially told us. So, right. that, so if the timeline is wider, that means even more people have been impacted. What you're talking about is the digi cards that the whole rest of the world has that apparently is a digital code on the back of the card, so it's a different kind of swipe system that is better for security. Right, except the retailers are saying, we don't want to pay for it. The banks are saying, we don't want to pay for it. The credit card companies say, why should we pay for it? And there's also other internal systems that all of these guys should be investing in. And uh, it's going to come to a point because we had Skype, right? We had Snapchat. And, and they all sort of take a cavalier approach to this, but when people's cards are used in a different state by someone else, That's right. then it does matter. Yep. All right, let's move to the job report uh, because that was not a very rosy picture when that came out. Let's take a look at how many jobs are created in December. Only 74,000 jobs. Now, when you compare that, people will hear that number, Charles, and they'll be like, okay, well, that sounds pretty good. But then when you compare it to the last five months, it doesn't look so hot. Here it is. The expectation was somewhere around 120,000 and it was about half of that. Why? Yeah, actually, we were hoping for more than even 200. As the week went on, people started getting really giddy on Wall Street. Uh, I tell you the number you're going to read in the newspaper tomorrow, though, 6.7% unemployment. Right. The media is going to try to spin this as a positive. This is the story right here. This has actually been the story of the last five years, more than anything else. Why do we get such a low number if so few jobs were created? 347,000 people quit. They quit the labor force. They gave up. What they're giving up on is the American dream, hope, everything. Wow. You can't have an economy when that many people are dropping out. So you're out. talking about the labor force shrinking to 62.8%. That's the, the participation rate. In, in, in decades. Since 1978, the lowest of participation rate. If the, in fact, if the participation rate were the same as uh, January 2009 when President Obama came in, there'd be almost 7 million more people in the labor force. That's, that's scary stuff. That's, and what happens to those people? What kind of, how do they live? Long-term unemployment, which is what they're debating yeah. on Capitol Hill right now. Charles, you got to run. Thanks so run. much for stopping Thank you very by much. Real Story. Okay.